to do a horror book. Um, I really am like, really excited about it. I don't think I'm actually going to be drafting it until NaNoWriMo in November, um, but I've kind of been itchy about it. And so I've already started doing like some plotting type stuff. So I thought I'll just do a vlog about um, plotting. <laughs> So, so far what I've done, I have done some stuff so far. So I've done what I call like writing adjacent activities. So like I made an aesthetic for the book um, and I thought of a title. Um, I'm calling it hashtag haunted house book as like a code name. Um, what else did I do? Um, I've been writing snippets on my phone, just like on the notes app whenever I like feel inspiration I've been writing down like a snippet of the book um I've written a forward and not a first chapter but kind of like a one page forward um so I've done that uh and I set up my Scrivener file so that I can get my plotting set up um I actually think I'm going to show you guys that too so I'm going to show you like how I like a very rough of how I start plotting stuff um, so I haven't actually started plotting yet. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I've done so far. So I think this week I want to try and get all the Save the Cat beats plotted and all my subplots noted. And I think I'm pretty much going to consider that plotted for the most part. So here's the deal. <laughs> I had a really messy week. Um, by messy, I mean I was like traveling a lot and I lost my bank card, my debit card, uh, my driver's license, and my transit card all in one week. Not lost my wallet, so they were all together, lost them individually at separate times on separate days. Uh, so I was a big mess this past week. So I've been slowly getting things in order. Um, so I worked from home today so that I could go um, get my driver's license because they're only open during working hours. So I'm going to go get my driver's license and then I'm going to go to the hair store because I'm already out and then I'm going to come back and work some more because this is basically going to be like my lunch. just finished uh, filming a video that I cannot say the title of the video because it's all very secretive. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a secret. It's a secret right now. Maybe it won't be a secret when I post this video and then I can tell you what the video is about. But anyway, it's a secret right now. Um, so I just finished filming a video. Um, I'm gonna go to the grocery store for a bit. But before that, I'm going to chat about um, some more plotting stuff. So what I, like, I did the smallest amount of work today. So um, basically what I do is when I go to, like before I start plotting, I'll do character sheets for like the very, very main characters. And the reason I do that is because since I read Story Genius, which I recommend you read Story Genius, I'm gonna link it below. It kind of changed the entire like, way I thought about plotting and now like I used to think about action and events as driving the plot and now since reading Story Genius I think about the character and what the character wants driving the story and the plot forming around the character's needs and how they need to change or not change and the things they need to go through to like to map out their character journey. So it's everything is very character focused. So that's why I need to start with character profiles. Um, I do them like this. I'm going to put it over here. But the big part of why this matters for my plotting is that I put in this section that is the lie the character believes and the symptoms of the lie. So the lie the character believes is like 
how the character sees the world and what they think the world is like, which is a lie, essentially. Um, and so that's what I'll put in for the characters. Um, for this character, the lie they believe is basically like, no matter how you, no matter how hard you work, your life is gonna be your life, it doesn't matter. So that's the lie that they believe. Um, and then symptoms of the lie, which is like the way they are because they have that belief in their head um so things like she's really like she, like seeing people work hard kind of annoys her and like irritates her because she doesn't think it matters um she doesn't work hard herself because she doesn't think it matters um she doesn't really think about her future she doesn't have a lot of ambition because again she doesn't think it matters what she does your life is your life um and so those i put in because i'm like they're really important to me for first of all for constructing voice of the character and also for knowing how the plot is going to go forward and what they're going to do and what they're not going to do and if i know that my character is like not ambitious i know they're not going to like accept a task that seems really hard because they don't think hard work matters or does anything and so that's why it's so important for me to put those things in because otherwise my plot is gonna mess up because I'm gonna put the character doing something that they actually would never do based on how they are. The way I plot is I use Save the Cat, so you'll see over here. Um, this is how I've arranged all my plotting notes in Scrivener, so that's kind of what I need to start going through. I also decided I should probably give myself hardcore goals now that I'm vlogging this, and now everyone will see if I don't do what I said I would do. Thursday, I'm washing my hair. Friday, I'm parting my hair. And then Saturday, I'm braiding my hair all day. So in between that process, I gotta get this plotting done so that I can put this plotting vlog up for Tuesday. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm gonna go to the grocery store now. Yeah. I said I was going to the grocery store. I'm not going to the grocery store. I'm going to Shoppers Drug Mart because uh, I need to pick up drugs for one um also the grocery store that near my house only takes debit and my debit is very run down right now and so i need to use credit and i can't use credit at the grocery store so i'm gonna see if i can get butter at shoppers drug mart uh is this good money management i don't know i'm living i'm a living person and i rely on credit a lot so Remember when I was vlogging, that thing I was supposed to be doing that I haven't done in however many days? <laughs> uh, basically, um, I announced my book deal. Um, I'll link, no, over here. Um, I'll link to my how I got my book deal video. Um, but because my book deal came out, I like got very preoccupied doing all the stuff around that. And then I like went to two events. I like went to an event at the Chapters in Newmarket and then I was hanging out with the Toronto writers and I just like failed to accomplish anything <laughs> during that time because I was like rapidly posting stuff. So uh, yeah, that's kind of why this is the vlog of shame because uh, yeah, there was stuff I was supposed to be getting done that I haven't actually gotten done. Um, so I'm hoping this week that I can plot everything and then this won't be the vlog of shame because I'll have done it. Um, it won't be shameful anymore. So I'm gonna cook some dinner. I'm gonna cook plantains for dinner. I'm just gonna like pan fry them. That's how I like to eat them. And um, I have a work call at seven. So that's like an hour. So I'm gonna make dinner, eat, start some plotting, do my work call, and then finish the plotting. So not finish the plotting entirely, oh my god, but like do some of it at least. My plantains weren't ripe. I have like eight of them and I've had them for like a week and they're still not ripe. So whatever, I just made oatmeal. 
Uh, so I'm going to dive in. I think I'm going to try and do maybe up to like the middle. Like I want to do that whole beginning part. And then maybe tomorrow, not tomorrow, tomorrow I have stuff to do. Wednesday, I want to do the whole middle. And then Thursday, I should be able to finish and like do the whole, um, the whole end. So I think like I should be able to plot this in three days. Um, so yeah, so you watch this vlog. I spent like three days doing fuck all. And now I'm gonna spend three days actually doing the actual plotting. Um, and there were three days in between that where I didn't do shit. So this is why this is a shame vlog. So this is not a failure vlog because I plotted the whole thing. Um, I was just supposed to do act one, but then I like kind of got on a roll and I like went through all the plot beats and I wrote down all my notes for plotting everything. So now I know everything that's supposed to happen. So that's awesome. And so what I'm gonna do is like the second part of my plotting is I'm gonna go through and I'm going to write a full synopsis. So I think probably that will end up being split into two days. Like I'll do like half of the synopsis on Wednesday and half of the synopsis on Thursday. Tomorrow I'm supposed to go to the X with my friend and her boyfriend. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to the X, which is like, if you're not Canadian or like, I guess from Ontario, I don't know. The X is like a big fair um, and it goes on for like a few weeks. And there's basically like, there's like tons of like fair food, like deep fried shit. And then there's like a bunch of like rides. I don't usually go on the rides, so I probably won't. And there's a bunch of like fairground games and there's like a casino. I wouldn't go to a casino. I don't like gambling. Um, what I'm excited about is they have like, um, like a bunch of like fair tents set up. Like, so, like, for small vendors, so, like, a bunch of, like, local shops around Toronto are going to have booths set up. There's one I really love. Um, it's called Cry Wolf. I really love that brand. It's, like, a Toronto brand. And they always have super cute, like, crop tops and, like, stuff with, like, designs. So I'm going to get some of that and see what else they have kicking around and, like, maybe eat something ridiculous. Last time I had these Dutch fries with curry sauce. It was so good. So I'm hoping I can get some of that. So... Yeah. Welcome to me and my not at all artful bun. The bun I put up when I'm just going to stay home because I have no one to impress with my bun skills. Uh, so that's me. Today's goal is to get the first part of my synopsis done. Um, I have all the like plot points ready. I just kind of need to put it into a sentence format. Um, that's really kind of easier to work with like typical synopsis but like probably very long like it's probably going to be like a 10 page synopsis or something like that so that's what I'm going to work on and I'm hoping some things can kind of be resolved as I work through it there were some plot points that felt a bit shaky when I was plotting them out that I'm hoping that once I like start writing them out in sentence form they'll come together a little bit better So I spent all that time making my plantains and they were yellow on the outside, but they were a little bit hard, but I still thought they were ripe. They were not ripe. Uh, they definitely have to be soft to be ripe and like unripe plantains, like they taste like dry potato, but like not good potato. It's just like dry and bad because if you boiled and fried potatoes, they'd be delicious. But if you boil and fry underripe plantain, it's just gross and starchy. Uh, so 
I had some leftover curry in the fridge that I was going to eat for lunch tomorrow, but then I just decided to uh, go ahead and warm it up for myself so I can eat a real dinner. And then tomorrow for lunch, I'll just have sushi or something. I'll pick up something because oh, my life. Okay, so I've decided this is the plotting vlog of shame after all. And I'm just going to end it. So, okay, so <laughs> there are reasons for this. One, I'm very frustrated about this potato plantain situation. It's really thrown off my energy. Two, I started writing the synopsis and I was like, this feels very lengthy. Three, I was like, wow, Lizelle, you have a full book done and all you have to do is get off your butt and edit it. And meanwhile, you're getting distracted plotting this brand new book where you have nothing in place, nothing ready. I'm going to have, like, I'm waiting on my edit letter, but then I get, I'll get my edit letter and then I'll be on deadline to do my Black Witches book. And then I'll be on deadline to write the second book. Like, why am I messing around with a new book where, like, I have nothing prepared? And I was just like, you know what? This is the end of the plotting vlog. I'm not going to work on the synopsis. I'm just going to leave it plotted as it is. And I'm going to spend the rest of like this weekend time working on the book that I already have written. Because that makes the most sense. So this is still, I mean, I technically plotted it, but I didn't do like a very thorough job. So it's still kind of a plotting vlog of shame, but I'm done. I'm done with this whole thing for now. Well, that was my plotting vlog. Was this the best vlog I've ever done? Perhaps not. But I mean, I did technically plot the book and then I like had an epiphany about what I should be spending my time on because I had that plantain issue. So anyway, that's the end of the vlog. Um, thank you so much for watching this somewhat of a garbage fire. Uh, this is definitely like a shameful vlog. I don't know. Thank you for watching this. This is real life. Um, if you like this video, which is, will be amazing, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to see more of my videos, uh, less of them, less trashy than this one, I assure you. Um, and yeah, I post every Tuesday and Friday and the Friday videos are only five minutes. So if they're trash, it's only five minutes of trash. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.